Hi, I'm Ernesto Casillas and I'm a celebrity makeup artist. Today, I'm doing Doja Cat's makeup for the Grammys. And this is B.I. Peak. I'm in the makeup store like every other day, so they know me in there pretty well. I'll just really walk in and be like, hey, friend. I'm like, you're here again. I'm like, I know. It's kind of an addiction, but I call it an investment. Yeah, I like this brand, and there's some Eryx. She has really great pigments. This is a liquid highlighter. Um, it's like a creamy liquid. And I like to use the under foundation. Kind of let that shine through the foundation. Or you can mix it into your foundation if you want kind of a, a luminous effect. Do you see this violet? Secret weapon, powder puffs. I feel like these are criminally underrated. So these are used to set your makeup. So you want to load these with translucent powder or any powder really. And just kind of lock your foundation in by pressing this in. Set back. I usually get all black, but this one's kind of calling my name. Kind of sexy. These are all essentials that you wouldn't think a makeup artist needs, like gloss. But once in a while, you get a client that's like, do you have any gloss? Do you have any eye drops? Do you have deodorant? Do you have a razor? So we're kind of expected to have a little bit of everything, really. When I tell you I put in the work, I was around 22 when I decided I'm gonna start pursuing this full time. I'm 33 now, so it's been a decade. I used to do a lot of testing, a lot of collaborating on free suits, weddings, quinceaneras, corporate events. I used to drive for pennies. Just because I really wanted this career really bad and I knew that I had to work extra hard anyway. You know, my parents are immigrants. They've They've never been scared of hard work. I feel like I got a little bit of that. I'm like, I'm not scared of hard work. I can do this. Usually my stress level for events like this will be super high, like on a one to 10, like a 12. But I'm feeling pretty confident about this one because I did a lot of prep work ahead of time. But you know, you have to always expect the unexpected. We're in Vegas and it's about seven in the morning. I'm about to go up to Doja's room to start her glam. I knew there was going to be a busy day, a very hectic day, because we have two looks. When I first saw the Versace gowns, it really brought back this nostalgia for me of the early 2000s, late 90s, and especially the color, this really beautiful mint color. So I wanted to play off of the late 90s makeup trends, which was a lot of frost, a lot of the fine crease. I initially was going to do a frosty mint eye, and Doja was like, Let's keep it neutral because we're gonna change into a second look. I was born and raised here in LA. My parents are immigrants from Jalisco, Mexico. So I consider myself very proud Chicano. I've always been creative. I was into photography, I was into painting. I just remember first grade making earrings out of clay. And I remember my classmates being like, oh my God. Just so pretty, can you make mine? Anything that I could create and make pretty, I was interested in. Um, we changed her hair and she's gonna be wearing a different gown. But we like the makeup, so we're just gonna keep it as is and just do some touch-ups. Oh, Are you showing leg for this? Um, yes. When I was younger, I had a lot of um, internalized homophobia I had to work through. I didn't see makeup as a viable career. High school, I used to go to Walgreens a lot because I wasn't allowed to go out. So I would just, just buy the makeup aisle, trying to catch a peek because I was too ashamed and embarrassed to be seen by the makeup, even though I so badly wanted to play with it. I would get discouraged by certain family members from pursuing those, those things because they were considered feminine. Like I used to cry out of how passionate I was about makeup and really wanting to have this career. And so I was actually in college studying to be a photographer when I just realized, you know what? Like, I just really love makeup. I told myself, F it, go for it. Let's, let's be a makeup artist. I feel very blessed to work with Doja because not only is she an incredibly talented person, she's always looking out for everybody. She's professional, she's never rude. For me, it kind of feels like I'm working with one of my best friends, but you know, with a little pressure because I'm still there to do a job.
Faded pictures on the wall. Faded pictures on the wall. I'm somebody like that likes to stay behind the camera, even though right now, you know, I'm in front of one. Working with her has brought a new level of attention to me that I didn't quite have before. Sometimes a little nerve wracking, but at the same time, it's beautiful, you know. It, it's great to see people love my work and recreate it on social media. I think that's been my favorite part is watching people recreate the makeup looks I do because that's what I used to do growing up, you know. I used to look up to other artists and want to recreate the work. It's beautiful. Yeah, there's things I'm excited about tonight. I'm excited to see everybody accept their awards and to accept maybe something. Even if it's not an award, I'll accept anything. I'll accept like, I like drinks. I'll accept drinks, I'll accept food. What about my life? I'll accept, I'll also accept his love. I'm always going, 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 working nonstop, but I don't really allow myself a chance to sit and absorb everything that's happening. And so I had a moment of clarity. I was just thinking about all the things that I used to want and need as a kid, as a teenager growing up, and how I made a lot of those things happen. Okay, I can't get up because I'm butt-ass naked. Okay, well, let's get the crew out. Yep. Peace out, MTV. Bye, MTV. I love Bye. you. Have a good day and night in the morning. It was kind of stressful trying to get everything done, but I think I'm managing. I was so happy when she won because Doja works really, really hard. Like she works day in and day out. You know, being a part of her little family, you get to see everything that goes into creating all these things. It kind of just felt validating, but mostly I just felt proud for her. And you know, her running from the bathroom. At first I was confused, you know, I'm like, oh, where is she? You know, we see Spezza on her crutches and Doja's nowhere to be found. And then we see her running, I was like, of course. So we were all laughing, actually. We were laughing and then crying and then crying laughing. Like I might have cried a little tear because I was part of my friend, you know. I consider myself a workaholic. I, I deal with a lot of anxiety that I feel my best when I'm constantly working because work for me is very validating. It's what makes me happy will make me feel confident. I'm always working, working that, to be honest, when I have time off, I'm not quite sure what to do with myself. I don't normally have days off, but when I do, honestly, I like to not do anything. It's like the best thing, just to lay down all day. You know, I try to balance it by doing self-care when I can. I like to get massages, just go see my friends and family. You know, they help keep me grounded. I'm doing my best, but I'm still working on it. I think it's a very competitive industry. You have to be able to want something so bad that you'll put up with a lot of BS. The best advice would be to be hungry for it. Do your research. Reach out to people that you feel could be a mentor to you. Reach out to them. Ask if you can assist or for some advice. But I think the biggest advice for me is to really just be hungry for it. Because I remember being little, like elementary school, knowing that I wanted to be an artist. And I already knew the stereotype that artists, they don't make great money, you know, they're a starving artist. I accepted that when I was little. I was like, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna be a starving artist, but I'm gonna make beautiful things. <laughs>